Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you the Teramps Pro Charger 40A in action. So for you who didn't watch the unboxing video, I'll quickly talk about this power supply. For starters, this is a dual voltage power supply, automatic dual voltage, which you can plug it into 127 volts or 220 volts outlets. It'll adjust automatically so you don't have to worry about it. It has a fan to help cool the power supply and keep it at the optimal operating temperature. In addition, the aluminum chassis also contributes to heat dissipation, so you won't have to worry about overheating, okay? Now, unlike the other power supplies from the same line that have a black chassis, this power supply has a white one. It has this connector with Allen grub screws. On this positive-negative output connector, we recommend using at least seven AWG cables. Here I wired a slightly thinner cable just to serve as an example as I'll connect a voltmeter here to monitor the voltage. And I'll also be showing this guy here, the potentiometer, that adjusts the output voltage and is variable so you can adjust the output voltage with a considerable level of precision. Let's turn it on. I'll also show you the LED light indicators that have some new features. Okay, the power supply is on. See? For starters, the on LED, which is the LED indicator and it has two more LEDs. Why aren't they on right now? The full LED indicates that the power supply is supplying current at the output. Since the power supply is not doing this right now, the LED is off. It'll turn on as soon as it starts supplying current to indicate it's sending out energy. Whether to charge batteries, to power 12 volts equipment such as amplifiers, audio processors, among others. In home speaker boxes or even when using it to keep your sound system running, it'll require current from the power supply, so the full LED will be turned on as well. If you're only charging the battery, the full LED will turn on, and when it's fully charged, the charge LED will turn on. The power supply completes charging, the battery is full, the charge LED will turn on to indicate that the battery is 100% charged. So let's move on to the main part of this video. I have here the VTS 5.1 inches voltmeter wired to the output. I'm going to turn it on. Since the VTS 5.1 doesn't need a remote to activate, just press this button to start it. It's showing on the display 11.8. Why 11.8? Because the potentiometer was set to just below 12 volts. It has that variation depending on where you stop the button. So I'm going to rotate it closer to 12 volts. You can see that the voltage is increasing slowly to 12 volts. Let's adjust it a little bit more. There we go. You can also set the voltage to like 12.6 volts, 13.8 volts, or even 14.4 volts. It can go a little higher than 14.4 volts to 14.6 volts. It tolerates a bit more or a bit less voltage but you'll be able to adjust it to the appropriate voltage for your system. It's an awesome power supply, guys. A very nice addition to your system. If you enjoyed watching this video, leave a like, and if you have any doubts, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.